Philistine is the westernmost of the provinces of Syria. In its greatest length, from Rafah to the boundary of El Lejun, it would take a rider two days to travel over, and a like time to cross the province in its breadth from Yaffa, Jaffa, to Riha, or Jericho. El Jibal and Ash Sharikh being two separate provinces that lie in contiguous one to the other are included in Philistine and belong to its government. Philistine is watered by the rains and the dew. Its trees and its plowed lands do not need artificial irrigation. And it is only in Nablus that you find the running waters applied to this purpose. Philistine is the most fertile of the Syrian provinces. Its capital and largest town is Ar Ramla, but the holy city of Jerusalem comes very near this last in size. In the province of Philistine, despite its small extent, there are about 20 mosques with pulpits for the Friday prayer. Now, this passage was written by al Mahdisi, a 10th century Arab geographer. And his description of Philistine, Palestine, establishes uh, an identity for the territory which was known to the Arabs and Muslims of the time and has persisted in the same identity uh, to the present day. And it's known by Palestinians and indeed all Arabs as occupying precise borders of uh, the territory we call Palestine and that al-Maqdisi calls Palestine. I'll never forget what I saw at the Palestinian refugee camp. Men, women, and children, their bodies stacked up in piles. Clouds of white tear gas drifted over the area. Many of the worshippers moved quickly out of the mosque. We have to be more surgical in our uh, actions. Some of them are waving homemade flags of Palestine, and a flag which is outlawed in Israel. The Palestinian revolution continues. Jordan River, Dead Sea, Jericho, Nablus, Nazira, Jaffa, Mediterranean Sea, Hebron, Zakaria, Bethlehem, Jerusalem, Palestine, Moon, Palestine. Palestine is the name used since Greek and Roman times to describe the land at the eastern end of the Mediterranean between the sea and the Jordan River. For thousands of years, Palestine has been the crossroads of the Middle East on the great trading routes that link the Orient with the Mediterranean, Africa with Asia. Palestine has been fought over countless times and many civilizations have left their traces on a land steeped in history. Jericho is one of the oldest settled communities known to mankind. The ancient Jewish kingdom of David once flourished here, until destroyed by the Assyrians. The Phoenicians were superseded by the Romans, whose province of Palestina was made up of many major cities. The Arabs captured Palestine from the Byzantines in the 7th century, and the Abbasid dynasty succeeded the Umayyads. The Crusaders conquered the area at the end of the 11th century, and for 200 years a Latin kingdom ruled over part of the land, until falling to the Mameluk sultans from Egypt. In the 16th century, the whole region was absorbed by the Ottomans into the Turkish Empire, ruled from Constantinople. All these peoples and cultures have come and gone over the centuries, and all have left behind something marking their presence. The Palestinians see themselves as heirs and successors to this rich tradition. Palestine is something special, something unique about it. Inhabited by the Philistines who gave them name to the country, uh, the ancient Jews, uh, the Aramaic people. You have a variety of Semitic, Semitic, Aramaic, Hamitics, Blacks. I think what, when we discuss the Palestinian, Palestinian people today, we are talking essentially about the Palestinian Arabs. Uh, the Palestinian Arabs means 
Palestinian Arabs who are Muslims, Palestinian Arabs who are Christians, Palestinian Arabs who are Jews. That is in the sense that they are indigenous to the land. Palestine's special place in history and in the imagination derives from its role as cradle for three great religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Jerusalem, holy city to all three religions, was the site of Solomon's temple, whose ancient walls are sacred to Jews today. For Christians, Palestine is the holy land. For centuries, its shrines have attracted pilgrims from around the Christian world. For Muslims, Jerusalem is their third holiest city, and the Dome of the Rock marks the spot where the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven. Palestine is obviously not just another piece of land. It's, it's the center for Judaism and Christianity and has a lot to do with Islam. Uh, and it's the site of, of extraordinarily important uh, occurrences for Western religion and civilization. So that by the Middle Ages, for example, Jerusalem was considered the center of the earth. Uh, and it was the land of miracles. Uh, no other place is so saturated with religious and then subsequently cultural and then beyond that romantic or if you like even sentimental uh, notions so i i think it's it, the one place outside of the european metropolis where everyone has wanted to go and not only just go but also claim it for for some cause some sect some idea it was just a place where you had to be because it was the one place in a certain sense validated your history as a European power. <laughs> 